Hey everyone, I'm working on this blue painting today and uh, this was one of those ones that just is actually was a, a white stripe painting before and then I just got so tired of it and I ended up painting this dark blue color on it and just breaking it up and letting some of these shapes come through and it just it just worked, it just got strong really really fast. And so this is what can happen a lot, you know, you're working on something and it just all of a sudden you like it and it's it's working really well but the problem is because it happened so fast i just put this background on here now it's it's good and it's strong and you know this is going to be a blue painting but um there hasn't been a lot of um richness to this background it's just i just look laid in it. it's just this one color and so in order to in order to kind of get the picture to be a little more rich because i i like that personally i like having kind of like, you know, it's going to, the design, you know, the, the elements are going to be these light black and white shapes really popping off of it. But this background can get a lot more interesting. You know, if you look here and you look here and you look here and you look here, it's all kind of the same. And that's because I just painted it once. Now I put these lines in it and it's starting to get richer, but it's just really a matter of time. I haven't spent that much time on it. So what happens is that I have to kind of ruin this a little bit um, by working kind of now I'm going to work on the background even though the foreground is kind of working good and um, you end up having to sometimes redo things or things get covered up because you can't just painfully paint around all these things and uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about but I just wanted to show you kind of one of the things that I do a lot so I've mixed up a glaze over here um, this is I'm using uh, this is oil paint and I'm using uh, liquin I use liquin um, fine detail liquid, and I use um, odorless mineral spirits, and I, you know, put odor, odorless mineral spirits in here, and that's kind of my, the way I thin the paint. And um, anyway, I just want to show you, so if I want to have, so I, you can't be like carefully doing it, it's like you have to put this on. Now I know that I can wipe a lot of it off. I want to get some richness to this background. I can't do the whole thing for you because we don't have that much time, but, and I probably wouldn't. I'm just kind of seeing. I don't know how this is going to work, actually, but, um, So the paint's pretty thin, and I know I don't like this color that I'm putting here, but the paint's so thin, so I know that I can get a lot of it off. Okay, so I've done this big area. Then I can remove some of the paint. This paper is a is um, paint that you can is a paper that you, I think it's paint shield paper. You can get it from any painting store. It's what um, house painters use to cover up carpets and trim and stuff. It's really cheap. You can get it at Home Depot. This whole roll is like two or three bucks. Um, so I'm going to remove some of this. I still want it to be blue. Um, I want it to be still more blue, but do you see how, now it's not the right color, but I want to have some of this, there's some really interesting things that are happening on this. I think I'm going to go over my five minute rule. Okay. Now, um, I can even go further with this, and I want to keep some of this, but I 
it's sort of like you can start adjusting it and getting some of that I want it to feel like this, but have a little of that. So I'm just... So I'm playing around with how I can get that. So I'm scratching through. So I'm scratching through to the blue paint. So you can start to see how that's getting really rich. Now I might have to come in with more of this. And I can remove, I know I can remove tons of it with a cloth. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going over it and start getting this more rich. Until I have, you know, maybe 15% of this on this and it just starts getting this surface. And yes, I'm going to have to go back in and repaint some of these shapes, come back in here. But this is, the, this background was just not rich, you know, and now it's starting to get that, um, starting to get some history there. So, you know, I guess the, the moral of the story is sometimes you have to kind of go back. It's not just like start, middle, beginning, you know, beginning, start, and then middle, and then the final thing. You kind of have to jump around, and sometimes you just have to lose some of the foreground stuff um, for the sake of really getting that background, just getting the, the stuff that's in the background, make that really rich, because that's the base, and then really go for it with the foreground things on top of that. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. Leave a comment below. Um, it's a work in progress. All right, hope you're enjoying your day. Thanks.